so that didn't take too long. It looks like it's official. The Mirage has been sold to Hard Rock, prompting return of the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino Las Vegas. But this time, it's coming back on the Las Vegas Strip. We're going to be going over the good, the bad, and the ugly of this sale. Let's get started. Is the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Before we get started, I just wanted to give a special shout out to our Patreon members that help keep us independent and growing. More on that later. Hey Spinners and Sharks, Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. So, about five or six weeks ago, MGM Resorts International announced that they would be selling the Mirage Las Vegas on the Las Vegas Strip as soon as they could, and it looks like they finally succeeded. It appears as though MGM has accepted Hard Rock's over $1 billion offer to transform the Mirage into a new Hard Rock Hotel on the Las Vegas Strip. And you've probably already heard by now from Jacob, and Not Leaving Las Vegas, and Miles and Memories, and of course Show Me Vegas, that Seminole has purchased this property. So instead of rehashing all that stuff, let's just go ahead and go over the good, go over the bad, and of course, let's go over the ugly parts of this transformation of an iconic Vegas property into an old school throwback. Let's have a look. All right, Spinners and Sharks, so it looks like the good news here to start is the deal isn't going to be finishing until the second half of 2022. So if you are an MLife member right now, then you do have an opportunity to still max out your points while you're at Mirage and move some points over, cash in on your rewards while you can, talk your host into whatever you can talk them into, because it looks like they'll still be honoring it at least until the deal is completely done. The Las Vegas Review Journal cited in their article that the closing of the purchase probably won't happen until at least six months past. 2022. So we'll have a little while longer to enjoy our suites and enjoy the volcano from our best rooms that we can get comp. Another great thing about this transition is it looks like there aren't going to be any layoffs. In fact, Chairman Jim Allen of the Seminole had been quoted in the Las Vegas Review Journal stating, we're honored to welcome the 3,500 team members of the Mirage to the Hard Rock family. So if you do have a favorite host over at Mirage, if you have a favorite bartender, a favorite waitress, a favorite check-in agent, or yada yada yada, even people that have been there as long as the Mirage has been open, which is, you know, over 30 years at this point, over back in 1989. So if they still have tenure over there, they're going to retain that tenure ideally, and hopefully everything is going to transition over pretty smoothly, but immediately it doesn't look like there are any layoffs and nobody, at least at the staffing level, is going to be hurt by this transformation. And one of my personal favorite bits about this is that there's going to be more competition on the Strip. Now, I like competition in pretty much any market. The idea of a monopoly bothers me. Monopolized markets tend to get lazy, and the monopoly holders tend to get lazier and greedier. That's just my personal opinion, and I'm sticking to it. I do like competition. It breeds innovation, and it definitely helps keep prices down in an ideal market. It doesn't always work out like that, but when it does, it's a great thing for the consumer, and I'm always happy to see extra competition. And one more thing that just came to mind as I was recording this, I believe that Seminole is actually going to be the only Native American casino on the Las Vegas Strip. Now, I know technically the Virgin is also a Native American casino because it's run by Mohegan Sun, but Virgin isn't actually on the Las Vegas Strip, it's just Strip adjacent. So, officially, physically on the Las Vegas Strip, as far as I know, this is the first Native American-owned one. If you guys can think of another casino on the Strip owned by a First Nations tribe, let me know in the comments section down below. Alright, now for the bad news. So first thing that came to mind immediately, no more My Vegas comps. Yes, if Hard Rock is going to take over the Mirage and not only eat the brand, but take it away from MGM Resorts and operations are the first things that were purchased here, that means it'll no longer be an MLife property and by extension, there'll be no more My Vegas reward for this as soon as the deal is over. For those of you guys excited about the changes, you're going to be waiting for a little while. So even assuming everything's all squared away by the end of 2022, it looks like Hard Rock isn't officially going to be branded as the Hard Rock for at least three years. 
yes, they've actually chosen to lease the brand Mirage from MGM Resorts International, and that lease is going to be remaining for the next three years. I'm not sure if that was rolled into the billion dollar deal or if there's a separate contract somewhere else that costs them more money to do this, but if you're really excited to be at a Seminole Hard Rock Las Vegas, it's going to be a few years, at least three, before you can officially do it when they start the rebranding process. And finally, while this isn't functionally a bad thing, it's just kind of a sad thing for a city whose history is so, well, transient. Yeah, it looks like one of the few monuments to when the mega casino era started is going away. This was Steve Wynn's first mega resort property and the first mega resort on the Strip. This ushered in a whole new era of mega resorts. That's why we have the Excalibur. That's why we have the Cosmo. That's why we have the Luxor. That's why we have the Bellagio. This is where the win came from. All those crazy properties are all because Steve Wynn gambled on Wall Street and won and decided that everybody needed to have a spectacle on the strip. So it's a little bit sad to hear about that. And now, because these don't fit into any other category, let's just go into the ugly. First things first, have you guys seen the color scheme on this thing? I mean, look at it. It's, it's blue and white. There's nothing wrong with that. I'd definitely love to have a car that looked like that, but there's something about a building painted that way that just doesn't sit right. It doesn't match anything else on the strip, which is cool, but, you know, the color scheme, it's just not doing it for me. It's... I don't know, it's off-putting. I don't like it. Maybe it's because I like the gaudy gold. And yeah, the gold is a little bit gaudy and it's a bit dated, but it matches the aesthetic of everywhere else on the Strip. And I don't know why, but the Strip is just kind of a warm-colored place. With the exception of Cosmo, it's pretty warm-colored. So it, it, this is just a little strange for me. Second, where is the volcano in the renderings? They're supposed to be working on another tower here that's actually shaped like the iconic Hard Rock Gibson guitar, and that's an issue for another day because I don't really feel like Mirage needs another tower because they have plenty of rooms. But the idea of the volcano being knocked down, especially when a rock icon is the one that came up with the soundtrack to the volcano, is just a little bizarre. Yeah, it doesn't fit the hard rock aesthetic, and of course, you know, you do have to have the Gibson up front, you do need that guitar to match the aesthetic, but <sighs> it's just weird. I don't like the way it looks. It's off-putting. But that's all the basics of what's happening with the Mirage now that it's being purchased. Let's go ahead and discuss it a little bit more in the comments section. All right, Spinners and Sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's editorial and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Before we go, let me just take another quick minute to shout out our Patreons. Guys, it means the world to me that you choose to support me and the channel this way and help keep me independent of the YouTube algorithm. If you want a more direct hand in keeping Ace of Vegas growing, I've put a link to the Patreon in the description box down below. So what are your thoughts on this new move for the Hard Rock and the Mirage? Are you ready for the big change? Or do you think this was a huge mistake? Whatever your thoughts may be, I'd love to hear them in the comment section down below. Until next time though, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, wishing you strong hands, and of course, happy spending you guys. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas.